Hi, Chris with Regal here to talk to you about the versatility and simplicity of the Evergreen IM motor. What if you could replace 16 indoor PSC motor ratings with just two motors? The Evergreen IM motor is designed to replace 48 frame PSC indoor blower motors rated 1075 RPM in furnaces, air handlers, and package systems. To cover all of the motors in those applications, you would need 115 volt rated motors counterclockwise from one quarter through three quarter horsepower. And of course, you would also need those in clockwise. To cover the air handlers and the package systems, you would need all of those same ratings in 230 volt rated motors. That's 16 motors. Evergreen IM can replace all 16 of those ratings with just two motors. Stock number 6005 can replace one fifth through one half horsepower, and stock number 6010 can replace one half through one horsepower. Both motors are dual voltage 115 230, and both motors are dual rotation. The Evergreen IM also makes ECM easy. So along with all that versatility, we've made it easy to install this motor. It's built with 42 inch leads. There's terminals on the line voltage leads, extra parts provided for ease of installation. And this motor will connect directly to the existing controls in the HVAC system. You will not need any extra controls or wires. And it also eliminates the capacitor used with the traditional PSC motor. The motor is a 48 frame motor, which is approximately five and a half inches in diameter, and it will fit any 48 frame belly band mount. So if the motor you're taking out is sliding out of a belly band mount, you'll be able to slide the evergreen motor back into that same mount. If the motor you're taking out has any other kind of mount, uh, welded legs or uh, resilient mount, you know, mounts around the bearing ends, then you'll need a new uh, universal mount. And we have various sizes of mounts, uh, all built for 48 frame motors. And the easiest way to know what size mount you need is to measure the air opening around the uh, motor. So measure the diameter of the air opening around the motor. In the example on screen, it's 10 inches. So if I've got 10 inches of air space, I need at least an 11 inch mount. Uh, so when, when a mount is rated for 11 inches, that's the diameter of the bolt circle. So to get my bolt holes on the sheet metal on a uh, blower that has an air opening of 10 inches, I would need at least an 11 inch mount. And we make mounts from 10, 11, and 13 inch uh, bolt hole diameters. The Evergreen IM motor is also very easy to connect as far as the electrical connections are concerned. So being a dual voltage motor, before you connect the wiring harnesses, you're going to install either the yellow or the white jumper. And that's going to designate the motor as the voltage you want to operate it at. If you want to operate it at 208, 230, you would use the yellow jumper. If you want to operate it at 115 volts, you would use the white jumper. Then you're going to connect the keyed harness plugs to the motor and use the other end of those harnesses to connect to the HVAC system. So here we have a picture of a basic HVAC system circuit board. Uh, it has a heat tap and a cool tap. We have our PSC motor connected one speed to the heat tap, one speed to the cool tap. And we have the uh, 115 volt system. So we have the neutral wire connected to fan neutral. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the line voltage power connection or high voltage power connection from the evergreen motor. And we're gonna connect it directly to a continuous line voltage power source. Now there's probably not one available on the circuit board that's unused. So we're gonna use the terminal uh, that uh, at, on the circuit board where the line voltage is connected to that board either directly from the door switch or from the main disconnect. Next, we're going to remove the neutral wire from the old motor and we're gonna connect the neutral wire from the Evergreen IM motor. Uh, now, if we were connecting this to a 230 volt system, we would connect that white wire to the L2 uh, side of the power supply. And for those two connections, the black and white high voltage power wires already have their quarter inch terminals uh, built onto the leads. In fact, the black wire has a piggyback. 
so that you can disconnect the wire that was on the L1 terminal at the circuit board connected on the back of the piggyback from the Evergreen IM harness wire and put it back on the board. All right, so with those two new wires connected, we're then gonna remove the PSC motor speed wires and remove the PSC motor. And we're gonna bring out what we call the high voltage signal wires, or what I like to call the horsepower wires, because they, they these wires are used to select the horsepower that the motor is gonna operate at. So if I connect the red wire to heat or cool and the black wire to heat or cool, and then in the parts bag, take a jumper and jumper them together, uh, by energizing both red and black at the same time, I'm running the Evergreen IM motor at its maximum rated horsepower. So the half horsepower motor runs at one half and the one horsepower motor runs at one horsepower. If I want to lower the horsepower rating to match the motor I took out, if I connect only the black wire to heat and cool, my half horse motor now runs at one third and my one horsepower motor now runs at three quarter. If I use only the red wire, my half horsepower motor runs at one quarter and my one horsepower motor runs at one half. So with just one or two wires and a jumper, I've selected the horsepower for the motor and we're jumpering the heat and cool terminals together so that all demands, heat, cool, or continuous fan, uh, energize the motor at the same horsepower level. And again, we provide the wires with all the quarter inch terminals and Y terminals and extra jumper wires needed to get this job complete. So again, you don't need any terminals out of your out of your bag and you don't need any new wires. Last but not least, we're going to select our speeds for heat and cool now using the 24 volt uh, side of the system. So we're gonna connect the blue wire from the new motor to transformer common. We're gonna connect whatever speed we want for heat to the thermostat heat demand, which is usually designated with a W and we're gonna connect whatever speed we want for cooling to the thermostat cooling demand, which is usually designated with a Y. Now I've put the yellow wire on Y and the white wire on W, but you would, uh, you could use, and you could use that as a starting point, but you would obviously, when you're done with all this wiring, operate your HVAC system, measure the temperature rise or the airflow across your evaporator coil, and adjust those speeds as needed to get the correct airflow for your system. But that's really all there is to connecting an Evergreen IM motor. Uh, each motor can replace eight, uh, eight ratings. That's how uh, simple this versatile motor can be. Last but not least, the uh, motor also is dual rotation, as I mentioned earlier. Now there's no wires left. Uh, so this motor does dual rotation automatically. So the first time you install the motor into the HVAC system, you're going to uh, run the motor with any demand, heat, cool, or fan, and just sit back and watch the motor for about a minute. You're gonna notice that the motor is gonna start out clockwise and run very slow for about 15 seconds and then shut off. And then it's gonna turn on and run counterclockwise for about 15 seconds. And what the motor's doing during these two different rotations at the same slow speed is it's measuring the current. It's measuring the energy used to run the motor in each direction at the same RPM. And it, it, it bases the current on what direction the wheel needs to go. In other words, a indoor blower wheel is a forward curve fan blade. So when you run a forward curve fan blade in the correct direction, it uses more than twice as much energy as it does when you run that wheel in the incorrect direction. So whichever direction uses the most energy is the direction the wheel needs to go. And the wheel then, uh, the motor then starts to increase to the speed selection that's being used after it's run the motor in both directions. So start one direction, stop, run the other direction, stop, and then the motor will speed up and it's all done. Um, and once it speeds up, you don't need to worry about the motor running, doing this process again. It will start up in this direction the rest of its life. And if for some reason it picks the wrong direction, which it almost never does, uh, or you need to take this motor out and use it at a different job, you can always reset that rotation process using a five-step process in the back of the installation manual that comes with the motor. We try to make ECM as easy as possible. You can get training, education, and support on our free app, the Dealer Tool Belt, which you can find on the Apple or Google Play. Uh, and you would search for the words Dealer Tool Belt. 
There you can find the uh, savings calculator for the Evergreen IM motor that we talked about today. And you can find application, benefits, and installation videos on all of our Evergreen products free in the app. For more information on Evergreen IM and all of our Evergreen products, on the web, you can visit ecmmadeeasy.com. Here you can download the manual before you ever buy the product. You can find our cross-reference guides, marking brochures, and again, all the same videos that are available in the app. And last but not least, we do provide technical support on all of our Evergreen products. We have a tech support hotline that's printed in the back of all of our Evergreen manuals. Today we talked about the Evergreen IM and its ability to replace uh, multiple ratings of motors with just two motors on your truck for indoor for replacement of PSC indoor blower motors uh, rated 48 frame, 1075 RPM multi-speed. We also have a counterpart to that motor called the Evergreen OM. It's designed to replace PSC outdoor fan motors, 48 frame, 230 volt, single speed, and it's just as versatile as the Evergreen IM. In fact, one Evergreen OM motor can replace 16 PSC outdoor fan motor ratings all by itself. We also have you covered in the replacement of ECM OEM indoor blower motors. So if you need to replace OEM constant torque ECM motors, such as the Gentech Models X13 or Endura Pro, you can use the Evergreen EM product. If you need to replace OEM constant airflow ECM, often referred to as variable speed, including Gentech Models 2.0, 2.3, Eon, 2.5, and 3.0, you can use the Evergreen VS. For more information about all of our product brands, including Gentech, Century, Fasco, Marathon, and Browning, please visit regobeloit.com. <laughs>